Hello and welcome to a, another Everything Google G Suite video with Z and today we're looking at Gmail. Now with Gmail there's absolutely tons of features and updates that are constantly occurring with Gmail but there's a handful that I personally enjoy using myself and today's video is basically going over uh, the top five best tips for Gmail that I personally use. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to jump onto my Gmail account here. So basically with most Gmail accounts this is probably one of the default views that most people will see. One of the first features that I absolutely love about Gmail is the ability to preview the emails. It's probably a feature you're probably familiar with once using Outlook. So on the right hand side here on my screen you can see this split pane mode. So if I tap on that, what happens is it gives you this little preview pane on the right hand side. Now any emails that I receive I can just click on it and see a quick view of any of the emails that I'm receiving. By default, this option isn't there all the time. So what you might need to do, if you go into your settings on the right hand side, uh, the little cog icon settings, and you need to move over to advanced. And then there you'll see enable disabled. I think by default, this is usually disabled. But because we're a education uh, institute, we've actually pushed this preview pane uh, from the admin console. So I highly recommend you switch that on. Going back to my inbox, there's another feature that I really like about Gmail and it's the ability to snooze emails. So basically what that means is if you receive an email and you don't want to do anything with it for another couple of days, if you hover over the email you'll see this little clock symbol here and by clicking on that little clock symbol you can move this email out of your inbox to appear again in, in, a, in a day's time, in, in a week's time, in a month's time or you can select a time and date in which you want it to be to be reminded again. So what happens, let's just set something up here. So I've clicked on that top email, uh, I want to be reminded um, let's say tomorrow at 8 o'clock, you click on save and it disappears from your inbox but where it goes is into the snooze option on the left hand side here and there you go so you can do that with as many emails as you want if there's something that you don't want to reply to straight away but want to be reminded again in a couple of days time and then what will happen is once that activates it will appear back into your inbox. The third feature that I really like about Gmail is the ability to undo emails so for example we've all been there if you've written out an email and you realize you've missed something out or you've sent it to the wrong person Gmail does come with a feature to allow you to undo the message if you're quick enough but you can increase that time lapse to a bit longer if you need to so I'm going to show you that in practice now and how to increase that uh, time frame so let's just quickly compose a, another email I'll send it to myself uh, press test and test so before I hit send just keep an eye out on the bottom left hand corner so as you can see there, there's an undo button option there. So if I hit undo, it literally pulls that email back. So by default, that window period is about five seconds uh, to allow you to un undo that message, but you can increase that. So if I come out of this and I'll quickly show you, if you, if you go back to your, to your main inbox window, this cog icon again, click on that, down to settings. And if you look further down here, like literally probably halfway down the page, you'll see undo send uh, cancellation period by default it's set to five seconds you can do up to 30 seconds i suggest you keep that to probably 30 um hit the 30 seconds click on save changes so now if i go back into the inbox here and i go to compose So as you can see, that window will stay there for approximately 30 seconds. Um, if that calls off screen, it more or less means it's just been sent. So if I click undo on that one, it pulls it back. So that's a really, really good feature. Um, I strongly suggest you increase that uh, 5 seconds to 30 seconds. But if you're, if you're happy with this short period, that's totally fine too. The fourth feature that I want to share with you is the ability to add emojis to your labels and your folders if you still want to call them folders. And that's really easy to do. So again, on the left hand side, if you scroll down and go to create new label, so you can give the label any name, so you can call it oh, dinner. So if you right click on that uh, the little bar there, you see the emoji function there. And you can literally add any emoji you feel like. So if I put the piece of symbol there, perfect. Let's put there. Uh, Let's put, oh, let's put a steak in there. Cool. And there you go. You can add any emojis to any of your labels. Uh, if I click create, so if I move back over to the left hand side and I scroll up, 
as you can see now I've got a little stake uh, emoji next to my label so choose what you want um, and get those emojis added the fifth feature that I really like about Gmail is the use of search operators so basically in your search email part of your window right at the top here if you type in certain symbols and words you can filter your inbox to match that criteria so for example if I use the word from colon and I type in the name oh no, Joe I hit enter you won't see anything there obviously because I don't have emails but what will happen is it will list all the emails where it matches the word Joe you can have anything from um, Amy if you wanted to but you can also do the word um, use the word sent so any emails that you've sent uh, to, to a particular person if you, hit, if you type sent colon and hit enter it'll find all the emails where you've sent, uh, sent someone with that name as well as the name you can type in the full email address as well and that will search uh, your whole inbox to match that criteria and um, what you can also do is if you type in the word subject it will also check um, subject lines so um, subjects colon David and anything that matches that criteria the subject line it will filter that for you there's quite a few that you can you can choose from in regards to these uh, search operators I'll mention a couple more but I'll try to leave a list of these in the description part of this video you can also use the all fun function so if you go from uh, from David or from Amy and that'll search two names in that same category for you as well and let's see if I can find another one for you one of my favorite ones is has to be this um, if you type in has colon if you type in drive if you type in uh, document if you type in spreadsheet if you type in presentation if you type any of those words into that search criteria with the word has in front of it what your email will do then is it will find all the emails where you have a drive link uh, a document link uh, a document shared, a spreadsheet shared, or a presentation link. It will search for emails for those particular emails that has a reference to an attachment or a link to that attachment, which is a great feature. If someone sent you a YouTube video, you can type as uh, you can type in has uh, YouTube, and that'll find everything uh, all your emails that has a YouTube link in it as well. If someone sent you a particular file, you know the file name. Um, what you can do if you type in file name colon and then I don't know um, tomorrow's dinner, it will search the emails that matches that file name. If you don't know the file name but know what the file type is, you can also search. Um, by the file type as well so if I type in file name colon PDF I'll find out if that's PDF if you're still using uh, word documents and you know what's a word document that's attached to an email if you type in file name colon doc it'll find everything that's related to a word document so if it's pictures movies or any files as long as you know the extension type you can type that in there as well for you which is another great feature another quick operator so if again if you want to uh, find files um, well, sorry, files or emails older than a certain time or before a certain date if you type in older underscore than and if you do colon and you type in two days or 2d it will find any emails older than two days if you want to find anything <coughs> older than uh, a particular month if you just type in the, uh, the letter M that references, references it to be a month and why for a year. Like I said, they're just a, a quick few uh, search operators. Like I said, I will leave a list of these in the description of the video. Uh, I ho really hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.